Hi guys, welcome back to Simply Spiritual. This is going to be a general reading for Monday, what is it, the 28th of December. Um, general reading may or may not resonate. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's down here. Take offense, leave the rest, and characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. So, um, I haven't made a general reading in probably five days. So, um, yeah, so Christmas was interesting. My, uh, I'll talk about a few personal things first and then uh we'll get in with the reading so if you don't want to listen to it fast forward a few minutes but anyway uh christmas so my papa passed away last new year's eve and uh my cousin my oldest cousin well she's younger than me but anyway a fellow scorpio um she started talking about a license plate that she saw that said papa and she started talking about different signs and stuff that she's seen now no one in my family talks about this stuff. No one, right? No one even really knows I do these videos aside from like very close relatives, like my mom and dad. My cousin has no idea I do this. Um, but she's talking about like signs and stuff. And I was like, I was like, did she have an awakening? I was like, hmm. I mean, it makes sense. She's been like really strange, like not strange to me, but like there's been like drama with her and her family lately. So I'm like, I have a feeling she had an awakening and she's no longer resonating with things that she used to. So very interesting um, that, sorry, my hair is greasy, whatever. Anyway, uh, so that was interesting. Now, let me tell you what happened last night. I was out at the bar with my friend, um, the same person I hang out with pretty much every day. Uh, anyway, so me and him were there and like he whips out his Tinder and I was like, yeah, I'll whip out my Tinder. So I'm Tindering. I swiped left on four people. And I was like, I'm done with this stupid thing. I was like, I'm done with Tinder. And uh, he's like, oh, what do you need Tinder for? He's like, you already picked out your husband. I'm like, you're right. I, I did. <laughs> so whatever. We have a joke about something. But anyway, I don't know if it's a joke. But we'll see if it's a joke. Anyway, so <laughs> he's like, why don't you delete your Tinder? I'm like, fine. I'll delete my Tinder. He's like, no, you won't. I'm like, yes, I will. <laughs> I'm like, doo, 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 doo. deleted my Tinder. As I was deleting my Tinder, one conversation popped in my head that I had had on Tinder. And they had actually unmatched me because I'm a very flaky Tinderer. I don't really go on very often. I go on like every few days. So they obviously unmatched because they got annoyed with me. Anyway, that's the one conversation that I had remembered that I was like, I didn't quite finish it. Anyways, I delete Tinder. I throw my phone on the table and I'm like, see? deleted he's like all right immediately after i threw my phone on the table i looked to my left like this the person that i had thought that i had the unfinished conversation with as i was deleting my tinder mind you i have never met this man in my life was right there what no let me phrase this again Deleted my Tinder. I thought of one person that I had an unfinished conversation with. Threw my phone on the, the, not the floor, the table. I turned and the person that I was just thinking about was six feet to my left. Are you joking? Now, I don't think it's this person that I'm supposed to be with. But what that does tell me is exactly what, how I've always felt about Tinder. <laughs> Anybody that you are supposed to talk to in your life will find a way to talk to you. Not they personally will find a way, but the universe will guide whoever is supposed to be in your life to you. So that's, that's I feel like we're going to start out with that message is anybody that's supposed to be someone that you interact with for whatever reason, long term, short term, whatever, that person will be guided to you because I never really believed in like the online dating and stuff. And there's been a couple people that I've met, from, but most of my significant relationships were not from online dating. And it's like, I feel like the point of that was it's like, A, expect the unexpected, right? Because I mean, think about that. Think about you. You had one conversation that you didn't finish on Tinder. You delete your Tinder. You turn to the left and that person's right there. Stop. Um, and it's just proof that, like, you don't need Tinder or anything like that. Like, anything that's meant to find you will find you. Anyways, moving on to the reading. What's going on? Okay. Magical map shifter. 
See, I put up this tapestry to make it look nice, and now my cat wants to eat it. Spirit, <laughs> spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. All right, you're distracting. Can you stop? Spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. When the magical map shifter card arrives, it comes with a mission to make you aware of the people who come into your life to impact your personal growth. Perhaps you may meet a soulmate whose presence invites you to be the best you that you can be or someone who leads you out of a difficulty and into a place of safety or success. Pay attention to those individuals who cross your path today. Because to reflect on your journey, be awake and aware and you'll recognize them for the important change agents they are. Your whole perspective about who you are and why you're here will shift. The magical map shifter always initiates you into a better version of yourself. Let me read that first line again. Spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. What did I just say? It's talking about meeting people, right? Meeting people that have an impact in your life. And it's saying not necessarily meaning that person's forever, right? But I'll tell you right now, me seeing that dude is literally, it's expect the unexpected. And it's you don't need Tinder. Reminder that whoever is meant to be, you don't have to beg. You don't have to search for. You don't have to look for. They will appear. The end. <laughs> I mean, seriously? <laughs> like, I mean, that was one of the most, honestly, unexpected visitors. And I actually say expect the unexpected. Okay. <laughs> I literally, that was one of the most insane things. Like, I see a lot of science and stuff, but, like, and I've run into people before, and I, I think I talked about it on here one time. I, maybe I didn't, about, I was leaving, I had predicted running into someone and then being, like, physically behind you, like, you don't see them, like, across the room, like, they end up behind you, and you turn around, and they're there. That happened to me at a bar about a month ago. I turned, I was walking out of a bar, and I turned around, and some particular person was behind me. I don't know if I talked about that. It was about an hour away from my house. Again, if someone's meant to be in your life, if you're meant to encounter someone, even if just, it's just quickly at a bar to make you think about something, right? Even if it's just for that, that it's all orchestrated. You don't have to look for it. Both of these literally say exactly that. So again, back, back to the, uh, oh, now they're both here. The, uh, the cats. Um, <laughs> I have had two incidents now in the last month where people I have unexpectedly run into that I would have never expected. One of them I predicted. This one I could not have predicted if I even tried. Anyways, so remember, this is what this said. Spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny. And then we have unexpected visitors. So, if you, again, if you're meant to see somebody, if you're meant to encounter someone, if you're meant to meet someone, it will happen. If you expect the unexpected, oh my god, and I said that. If you expect the unexpected, you'll be prepared for miracles. I'm done. I'm, I'm, this is the end of the reading. I swear to god, like, I literally said that. Expect the unexpected. I said expect the unexpected, and then this card came out. I am mindful right now. I didn't think that story was going to be relevant to, to the collective, but apparently it is. Um, prepared. You'll be prepared for a miracle. Expect... To unexpectedly run into somebody. Yeah. Expect to unexpectedly run into somebody. And why did I pick this deck? I haven't used this deck in a few weeks. I've been using the same cards for the last few weeks. Expect the unexpected. Expect an unexpected person. To cross your path. Whether it's someone you already know or someone new. That is just something, man. Be spontaneous. Now, in order for these kind of encounters to happen, you can imagine it's a lot for the universe to orchestrate something like that. If someone spontaneously asks you to go out, if someone suggests you go somewhere, maybe you had a certain plan in your mind. You wanted to go to this bar, but your friend's like, hey, why don't we go to this bar instead? Do so. 
Now, remember I said I ran into someone at a bar about a month ago. It's a bar I'd never gone to. And I randomly was like, hey, let's try this bar instead. That's what I'm saying here, right? You may have to go a little bit out of your typical path. And it's not going to be forced. It's not going to be like, well, which one should I go to today? Which place should I go to so that I can run into this unexpected person? No, it will just happen. Someone else may suggest that you go here. It may You may get stuck in traffic and then one place may be closed or you end up going driving by something else that looks cool or whatever, right? It's going to be orchestrated, but keep an open mind in a sense with the Be Spontaneous. Like, it's kind of like go with the flow. That's what I would say. <gasps> Sorry, I just dropped incense all over the place. Actually fell on this card, so that actually works nicely. Anyways, okay. One more, please. Okay. Mystery. This is something, oh crap, my other card is over here, one second. So basically, actually, let me clarify this first, why is mystery here? Why is mystery? The sun. Happiness. There's mystery here. It's, you might, hmm. We're not gonna get anything else because it's a mystery. The person's a mystery, whatever. Hmm. Really, I feel like this reading is like over with those first two cards. It's like, expect to be guided unexpectedly uh, to somebody. Doesn't, have the, hmm, doesn't necessarily have to be a physical run in, but it's kind of what I'm feeling. Anything else here? Hmm. Now I feel like off all of a sudden. This is the dog. This is a friend. It's loyalty. It's a labyrinth. It's kind of like about like overcomplicating things. You don't need to orchestrate this because like I said, it's like you're going to run into or whatever with whoever you need to encounter. Don't, don't try to make this happen. The letter, communication. Why is a dog here? Why is a dog here? The compass. Remember how I said it might be like your friends, like, hey, you want to check out this bar instead? But you're like, Ugh, I'm a creature of habit. I don't really like that idea, right? Be spontaneous. The dog is clarified by the compass true north. The friend, a friend might end up guiding you to the situation. Obviously unintentionally. But if, basically, pay attention. You're not going to know much here because we had the mystery car, right? But... 
What's flickering? Is something flickering? Is this light flickering? Anyway, pay attention to what your friends say. If your friend suggests you go somewhere or do something, do it. Because they unknowingly could be getting some sort of guidance. Like, for instance, exactly, because remember I said last night, my friend was the one that start, started using Tinder and he told me to delete my Tinder. That was guided by him, right? Yeah, don't overcomplicate it. Don't try to make anything like this happen. Yeah, there's definitely an element of mystery here. We're not going to get a whole lot here. Because this is supposed to be mysterious. But the... The message to remember here is that there's something unexpected that's going to happen. There's somebody that you need to meet or whatever. And it may be meet for like a second just to make you think about something, right? But and we're not going to know exactly what that is. It's obviously different for everyone as well. But there's something regarding a friend might end up guiding you or a friend might tell you about something or whatever but don't try to make anything happen just kind of let it flow i got this new blanket and like there's fuzz balls all over me now anything else here Stork. Transformation change. I feel like we're not going to get much else here. Because I think it's supposed to be not entirely told. It's basically just Scorpio. Death card. Scorpio is kind of a mysterious energy, right? All right. Let's see if we can get anything else. The world and diamond ring. Whatever this instance is could it could um change a kind of a big cycle in your life possibly leading to marriage right engagement right but i think that's that's all we're gonna get it's going it's really these these five cards here that are this whole reading again remember spirit orchestrates everyone's destiny unexpected visitors okay so there's going to be some sort of unexpected divinely guided either run-in or conversation or something like that um we're not gonna get much because it's gonna be a mystery and it has to be a mystery now also we had um this don't overcomplicate it don't try to make this happen um just kind of go with the flow here it'd be spontaneous and kind of follow follow a friend regarding something i'm not saying advice from a friend but like if a friend asks you to go somewhere and you don't feel like it go um something like that um, but it was hard to get, you know, think about, think about trying to orchestrate a, a divinely guided run in. Like, think about how hard that is, right? So you might have to be a little bit, um, go off your typical path for this to happen. But, um, definitely something's being orchestrated here. And just to kind of allow it to play out, basically. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to be notified when I post future videos. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon. And I will see you guys next time.